All right, folks, we got Richie Albertini again today. Good morning, sir. We're going to talk about Mossad, and uh, it's important we talk about Mossad because when you're looking at the sex trafficking, these blackmail operations that are going on, a lot of the stuff is Mossad. We're, and eventually, we're going to get Maria Farmer out here, hopefully soon, who also is going to confirm a lot of what Richie said. But anyways, I want to hear your story. And again, for people who don't even know who Mossad is or what Mossad is, if you could please. Yeah, we'll get into it. Let me give you a couple statements, and then at the end, we'll you can ask questions. And anybody that's listening that has any questions, you could always follow Aaron uh, on Gab. Feel free to put them in the comment <laughs> section. You might want to be careful. It's a little dicey on Gab right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a whole other battle. That's a whole other thing. We're fighting on a lot of fronts. Uh, I want to say good morning to everybody, and welcome to another Propaganda Incorporated production. Uh, by the time most of you see this, I'll be landing in Tel Aviv. Um, we're going where the evidence goes. We're talking to the people uh, that are involved in this Johnny Depp, Amber Heard operation, as well as people that are involved in some other operations. It's not a secret. I have a long-standing uh, relationship with the Mossad. Ami Shafrir, my former business partner. Okay. So you did business with Ami. Right. So tell us, okay, so the first business you did, what was the name of that? It was called Amtech Audio Text. It was a phone sex operation slash honeypot. Um, it was probably the largest phone sex operation on the face of the earth. Yes, we made millions of dollars in phone sex calls, but the real money was in the blackmail operation. Political people would call, politicians would call, they made phone sex calls. We get to know their sexual proclivities. Which is another blackmail operation. Yes, and then we would go to them and we would tell them, look, you owe us $50,000. They would balk at that. And we would say, well, do you want us to send recordings of your phone sex calls to your wife? Okay. All right. So Ami Shafir, was he Mossad or yes. was he working with Mossad? No, he was Mossad. Uh, in Israel, he was an electronics expert. His field of expertise is RFID, which is tracking. His other area of expertise is telephony, telephone systems, um, snoopware, spyware, and how to collect, extract your information from you. Okay. And so this guy, Ami Shafir, right now, he's in the Philippines. He's in Cebu City. He's, uh, he, owns a, he owns two companies that I'm aware of. He's the owner of Explore Talent, which that'll be a whole video in his, of itself. And he also owns a company called Trackimo, which is a GPS tracking company. Okay. All right. So when you started working with these guys, at what point did you... Because you, you come from a mafia family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you know right away these guys were Mossad? What was the relationship between Makosha Nostra and, and there, Mossad? There wasn't really... There wasn't any... In, I mean, is there a relationship somewhere? I don't know. At the operation that I was involved in for Ami Shafir, the phone sex operation, no. This was a strictly Israeli-owned and operated company. Uh, the owners of the company were all former Israeli intelligence agents. And who were those owners? You had Ami Shafir, his wife, Sarit Shafir. Then you had a lot of partners, uh, Shlomo Shore. Hey, can I get you to spell out his name? Because there's probably going to be some people. Ami Shafrir. First name Ami, A-M-I. Last name Shafrir. S-H-A-F-R-I-R. Sarit Shafrir was his wife. Uh, Sarit, S-A-R-I-T. Shafrir. Um, under the, our roof is where the early beginnings of the Chameleon Group started. Chameleon Group, everybody knows who they are. They're an Israeli intelligence firm, slash private investigations firm, slash bodyguard. They're mercenaries. Black Rock? Uh, Black Cube. Black Cube. It's a division. It's an offshoot of Black Cube. They were the people responsible for building all of our phone systems. They actually were founded right under our roof at 8670 Wilshire Boulevard because Ami Shafir was in a business partnership with Executone, which is their phone branch, as well as Black Cube, but Chameleon Group became an offshoot of that. These are people who do personal bodyguard work uh, for celebrities, including Johnny Depp. 
this is where Johnny Depp got his Mossad bodyguards that work for him. Their communion group. Were these guys tied to Disney? Well, yes, we were tied to Disney because we were their porn faction. We we operated all of their phone sex lines. Um, we operated their porn websites that they owned. When you say they, Disney, the Disney Corporation. So how how was Disney? What was the relationship? How how could you say it was theirs? Because they contracted us to build their porn websites. We hosted their Which websites. Porn websites. I can't remember the names of them. There were thousands of them. Um, so you're saying Disney was running porn sites? Yes, through us. Why? Money. They made a lot of money. Porn was the big thing. Phone sex was all the rage. Okay, who was the person at Disney? Uh, I believe it was Kathleen Disney. I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, she's the person that spoke on their behalf. Uh, there was a Woody. I don't remember his last name. Woody was our point of contact at Disney. And I should also say, we didn't only handle their porn. We were responsible for the building and the maintaining of the largest website back then that was ever created, which was the website for the movie The Titanic. We built it. We hosted it. We managed it. We maintained it. So we were doing both good and bad work Disney, with them. Titanic was a Disney movie? Yes, it was. Okay. So how does Bob Eisner fit into that? Bob Eisner... Bob Eisner would not necessarily be connected to that. Bob Eisner's connection was directly with the Viper Room. That's why I say this is kind of more than one video we're doing right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, we're kind of got off from the sob to Disney because at some point I wanted to get to the 9-11. Yes, absolutely. Switchboard. Absolutely. Uh, I was just talking uh, last night with a information specialist who I provided a whole bunch of documents and information about the 9-11 connection. And uh, he's doing some investigating and some research and we will do a video about that real soon. Okay. Can't, can't talk about it yet. We can't talk about it yet, no. We don't want to tip anybody off. But we can't say Mossad was involved in 9-11? Uh, yes. All right. Okay. All right. Another video. Um, okay. Well. I want to speak about the recent events and what's gone on in the right. last few days. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this and we'll start another video. Yeah, let's do it that way. We're going to talk about... Yeah, I want to talk about Paul Waldman and...